What is going on YouTube? Kevin here from TGI Tech Day with a video review of the Apple Final Cut Pro 10 backlit keyboard from Editor's Keys. Before I begin this review, I'd like to thank Mark Brown and the whole crew out there at Editor's Keys for sending this product out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website guys, link will be down below in the description as always. This keyboard is the second iteration of Editor's Keys' dedicated keyboard for Final Cut Pro 10, but unlike the last version, which was a modified version of the Apple keyboard, Board. This one was built from the ground up. Taking a look around the product, it features the colored keycaps you would expect from an editing keyboard. The coloration adds a bit of texture to the keys, so it doesn't exactly feel like the chiclet keys we're used to on Apple products, but the texture is much smoother and much more refined than the previous versions. The key switches are slightly more dampened compared to Apple's chiclet keys, so typing feels slightly gummy and the sound isn't as clicky. I wouldn't mark these as deal breakers since the keyboard still functions properly, but if they do a lot of typing in addition to video editing, this is something to note. The keys are laid out with the ANSI keyboard layout, which is a nice change compared to the previous version's ISO layout. A blue LED is located at the top center of the keyboard's matte black plastic face, which indicates caps lock. On the bottom are two rubberized feet for angle adjustments, while the top and sides noticeably lack USB ports. Now onto the selling feature of this keyboard, the backlit keys. One thing that stands out to me is that the entire key is illuminated, and not just the letters and symbols on it. It makes sense because you can still see the coloration in the dark, though the blue and the green keys are harder to distinguish in my opinion. The backlight is controlled by three keys, one to toggle the backlight and two to adjust its brightness. The backlight is a soft light purple and the brightness can be set to one of three levels using the function, page up, and page down keys. For what it's worth, when the keys are illuminated, they look ugly because you can partially see the switch mechanisms underneath. However, I suspect this won't be an issue since you'll only be glancing at the keyboard for reference instead of showcasing it to the world. The backlight is incredibly useful because I edit in the dark for better color and contrast, so finding keys is much easier to do with this keyboard. Overall, I enjoy using this product, and while I wish it had a metal face and USB ports, especially considering the retail price of $129.99, I would still recommend it for anyone doing a considerable amount of editing in Final Cut Pro 10 and is looking for an additional tool to help them video edit a little bit quicker. That does it for this review. Again, I'd like to thank Mark Brown and the whole crew at Editor's Keys for sending this product out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website, guys. Link will be down below in the description as always. If you'd like to buy this product, there's an Amazon link in the description as well. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video.